they will notice you. You will know that you are not a common person. You are a great person. I say, hey, that is what he said. He said, yes. That is, he want to initiate you into the addition. He said, yes. I said, you too. You are willing to do that. He did not answer me. He said, eh, not that I want to. The man said he liked quiet people and quiet people is good for... I said, okay, before that, let me call your mother. Let me call your brothers and sisters. In case people start dying in the family so that they will know where the problem comes. My husband said, no, no, don't call anybody. Don't call anybody. Uh, I no go go to you again. I no go go to you again. I said, you promise? He said, yes, I promise. You promise any day you go there, I will summon you to a family meeting. All of us will be there. So that was how my husband stopped picking his call. When he called, my husband will not pick that call again. Both in my presence and in my absence, he will not pick that call again. So not knowing that this man, by so doing, this man became angry with me. This man hated me with passion. This man went and disconnected our water. We don't have water again in my own flat. No light, and we are not owing. So I was not happy also to live in a flat, no water, no light. It's only generator. So one of the days, I received a call that my mom had passed on. I went to him. We organized for the burial. We all traveled, both my husband. And after the burial, to cut the whole matter short, I came back to Lagos. The very day I came back to Lagos, because my husband came back before me, the very day I came back to Lagos, we, I, I, I reached Hotel Legba around after 12 midnight. So I decided to sleep at the park. I slept there till the following morning, around after 5 in the morning. I took a taxi down to our house. This man was staying at his own flat at the third floor. He saw me. When my husband was bringing out things from the taxi, he saw my husband. Only for him to come down and meet me, say, Mrs. Seze, uh, I greeted him. Good morning, sir. Uh, where is your husband at home? I thought of what to say. I just said, no, it's not at home. I went inside. Okay. So, I, I went in. On my going inside, I had a knock on my door. I didn't know that is the one I was thinking. Maybe it's my other neighbors. When I opened the entrance, I saw that is the one. He asked me, is your husband at home? I said, no. Uh -huh. I, I hear say, you go bury her. You go bury your mother. I said, yes, sir. I said, yes, sir. I said so because I thought maybe he came to console me. Oh, sorry, I had what happened. But he didn't say any of those things. What he told me was that, uh, you'll be the next person. Hmm. So, I look at this man. I said, Baba, you said I'll be the next person. He said, yes, you'll be the next person. The next burial will be you. They will bury you. Hmm. I, said, ah. I said, Baba, I went to bury my mother. And it's the duty of the children to bury their parents in their old age. So, I went to bury my own mother. My mother did not bury me. And you, you stand here as my father. Baba, the next turn, I will bury you. Mm. It's you. Mm. Mm. He said, eh. I said, yes. Eh. He said, you bury me? I said, yes. The next turn is you. I will bury you. Mm. He said, okay. May we wait and see. Oh, yeah. I give you seven days. I will bury you. I said, eh, seven days. I didn't know how this word just came into my mouth. I said, Baba, I gave you three days. Hmm. They will bury you. <laughs> so I told him that I gave him three days. 
They will bury him. He said, eh, eh. I said, yes. He said, oh, yeah, let's bet. He brought out his hand. Hmm. I brought out my hand. We joined together. Hmm. I caught it. Hey. So that was how, after the whole betting, I went inside. Then he went, he passed through his shrine and bought to his own side. So when I entered inside, my husband came out. He said, why you bet that man? Why you bet him? You don't know who him be? You don't know who him be? I said, who him be? Who him be? If it's something for you, that man is nothing for me. Mm. Say, be we are bet. He said he's given me seven days. Me, I've given him three days. <laughs> Let's watch and see. Mm. He know where he belong. I know yeah. where I belong. I'm a choosing. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Mm. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This thing happened on Tuesday. So that Tuesday, I came to the service in the evening. Okay, when this thing happened, as we were arguing with my husband, my husband called my father. He said, because uh, he don't want a situation. Tomorrow day, they will say, I use you. And you know, we are not from the same side. I am from Akwaibo. He said, while my husband is from Enugu State. He said, tomorrow they will say, I Igbo man. And so they, they kill their wife. They use their wife for uh, money rituals. Make I let your father know the foundation. No? Come call my father. They narrated everything to my father. My father said he should give me phone. Then my husband gave me phone. My, my father called me. He said, why do I do that? I said, ah, Papa, even you say, you don't fear. No fear. Nothing will happen. That man is just a native doctor and a bony. Hey, my father said, those people, they are so strong. I said, they are not stronger than my God. Mm. I told my father, I said, look, the daughter you have in those days, today, I'm no more the same person. Mm. That, <laughs> that choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That that man know where he belongs. Me too, I know where I belong. Mm. Papa, I just gave him only three days. He's giving me seven days. Papa, let's watch and see. You mm. will know that the apron I wear throughout all the burial is not for nothing. Mm. You, will, you are going to see who is who. So, on that Tuesday, I went to church in the evening. I came to church the Tuesday evening service. After we closed, Wednesday trout, I was at home. On Thursday, I came to church very early in the morning. So, that day, it was as if maybe I told my pastor anything, nothing. I don't see my pastor. Choosing once, we know our way. Mm. That we only see our pastor in the pulpit. Mm. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the type of prayer my pastor prayed that day, it was as if I narrated anything to him. Mm. He prayed, that is, I was full with confidence. Choosing was, you know what happened. Tell us. On that same Thursday, mm. after we closed service like this, I went home. On getting home, I saw that my compound was jam-packed with people. Mm. 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 I did not ask anybody anything because I'm not used to anybody. I only go up, come down, go out, finish. So I climbed up to my own apartment. As I entered inside, I knelt down to pray. I had a knock on my door. When I opened the door, one of my chosen sisters that lives at the boys quarter came, Sister Uche. So when she came inside, I said, Sister, you don't know what happened. I said, no, I go to church. White people, they men, they say, ah, now nah, Lord die you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Just Father. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I then asked her. I said, well, I, but I saw him yesterday. He wasn't sick. He said, you know, sick, oh, mm. that uh, he was eating, taking tea this morning on the dining table with the small boy, about nine years old. Okay? He said, all of a sudden, he just fell down from where mm. he was sitting mm. down mm. from the table. Mm. He said, that was all. That oh. was how he died. As we are talking... I saw them carrying white from my kitchen. But if you enter my kitchen, you see the back of his own apartment. I saw that they wrap white cloth from it to reach down. Mm. They were spraying paint. Paint. They brought him down mm. for burial. Mm. So the girl that told me left. I closed the door. 
I didn't even remember. I start calculating. Tuesday, mm. Wednesday, today is Thursday. Mm. I said, now, nah, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I didn't call my husband. My husband wasn't around. I called him. Mm. I said, Oga, <laughs> you know what's happening? He said, no. You don't come back from church. I said, I don't come back. Landlord, don't die you. Mm. He said, well, what do you talk? I said, I said, landlord, don't die. <laughs> Ma, which day you and I'm arguing? He called me. I told him. He said, come, where you go? I said, in a church, I go now. Mm. You saw said, in a church, you go. In fact, I did come back house. My husband <laughs> can't come back. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My husband came back. He came back, he was asking me, where did you go? I said, I said, I went to church. Where do you think that I went? I went to church. Look at me. Do I look like somebody that they will be doing rubbish? Mm. I went to church. He said, why? As you know, say today, I'm be the third day. I said, yes. <laughs> ah. That was how my husband called my father. He narrated everything that the man have died. Mm. My father asked me the same question. He said, where may I go? I said, I don't go anywhere. I go to church. Mm. I go to church. I go to my church. My father said, now, wow. Mm. He said, that your church. My daughter keep on going. Clap on to this God of choosing. Appreciate him. Thank Praise you, Father. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. He said, he said, how can I lose my wife and lost a child at the same time? Mm. That what he planned for me is what he reaped. Mm. That, that you are God. Strong, well, well, hold on mm. very well. Mm. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that was how the whole thing happened. I have to pack out from that place. I packed to... Um, Abaronche. But now, this week Monday, I packed from Abaronche. I now live at uh, Orioke, number two, Success Avenue, by Orioke. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, This very God that fought my battle and gave me victory. May his name alone be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. I prayed for my pastor and the entire household. Untimely death will never visit them in the name of Jesus. Amen. He will live and live and live. At mm. the end, he will ask his father, the Almighty God, to take him and give him eternal rest. Mm. And it shall be at the right hand of his father in heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for all my chosen brethren, myself and my family. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap unto this God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Our pastor said, if you dare a choosing, you will get confrontation. So don't dare a choosing person. Otherwise, what will follow you is confrontation. You cannot survive. Clap unto God of choosing. Appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Hope Ikeshuku. I come to choosing in year 2003. And I recite number one, Allah Jara to me, Ijobu. I want to thank God for what God did to me. I've already given the testimony before, but they asked me to come and repeat it again. I want to thank God how God delivered me for ritualists. Mm. It happened in year 2007 when I'm on, uh, I traveled to, to go and visit my uncle in Edo State. And I bought a bus in the cellar going. So on the way going, the bus got spoiled. And another bus came up from nowhere and we jumped into the bus. Mm. Knowing that is a ritualist boss. Mm. So they made others that slept. And me, myself, I couldn't sleep. So before you know it, the conductor was saying, Ah, you, small girl, cannot sleep. I said, Ah, I can't sleep. Now, is it by force to sleep? So before you know it, they pass the place I will stop. I asked them, Where are you people taking me? Before you know it, they took us inside thick forest. Mm. Where that even the cry and shout to tomorrow, nobody will save you. So, being on Monday, I left my parents. 
So that on Monday in my presence, they slaughter two person. Mm. Me myself, I I was afraid. In Tuesday morning, and when they slaughter two, the body cannot find it. The only thing we know that the blood and the cutlass they use and call the person. Mm. So on Tuesday, they came again and picked two people and killed. Mm. So these are the slot people. So reaching my turn on Wednesday. So with the, the remaining brother, the pastor from uh, CPN. So the pastor was afraid. And I called the pastor. If he believed the God they are serving, he will not die. And I will not die. By that time, our, pastor, our daddy have, have not declared for us, uh, if he can a danger, you declare who you are. By that time, he's a man of suit. That two, uh, two seven. So, when he reached my turn, when they came to me, I, I heard the pastor, we made a short prayer. And then they took me. So when they took me, before you know it, confusion entered between them. Mm. The two guys, the other one said, no, I don't want to kill innocent one. I don't want to kill innocent, I don't want to share innocent blood. The other one said, ah, we kill hard work, we kill others. So before you know, the confusion comes serious. Before the dwarf sheep prince came out and said, what is going on? The other one said, ah, uh, we, uh, I don't want to kill the innocent one. The other one said we must kill her. If you know the chief, uh, the chief priest said, "Okay, you push you, give me chance. I will kill her by myself." Mm. So before you know it, they lose the robe they use and tie my hand and remove the uh, uh, what they use and cover my mouth so I can no shout. So before you know it, immediately the chief priest raised his knife to cut off my neck. Thunder strike. Mm, mm. And the thick uh, rain was falling. Before you know, the knife hung. Mm. And the thunder strike, the sheep priest and the dress, and they died. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Father. Ultimate in power. God of choosing. God of choosing. God of choosing. Oh God of choosing, oh God of choosing, oh the God of choosing, oh God of choosing, oh God of choosing, God of choosing. Clap unto Him, appreciate Him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. So when the sheep priest died with his member and the man of suit appeared. Mm. And when the man of suit appeared, because someone that left his parents some wonder, I've not tasted any water. I've not tasted any food. I was weak and tired. When the man of suit appeared, he carried me up mm. and he put me for here. The other one put me. The man of suit put on white. Why the other angel put the uh, ash blue suit? So they now carry me, take me to my former secondary school in a do state, India College. They dropped me there in that midnight. And they stay with me till in the morning. Physical. Yes, physical. Mm. So they stay with me till in the morning. So they now ask me how you feel. I said, I'm okay. He asked me, can you uh, locate where you are going? I said, yes. He said, okay. He can go. He can go. He can go three times. Mm. Before I look back, I couldn't find them again. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So, reaching my uncle's place, my uncle, they are afraid. My parents, because my uncle are calling my parents, say they have not seen her. And my parents also worried. So reaching there, and they asked me, and they explained everything for my uncle. 
they rejoice with me and I stay. But what happened again? Reaching on night, arm robber came. Hmm. Arm robber came there. But when I went to sleep, somebody tapped me. He said, my daughter, begin to pray. So I begin to pray. After I pray, finish. I about to sleep. Before you know it, arm robber was shooting gun everywhere in that compound. Shooting gun, even today they, they call, many of them came up, both women and men, they mm. came up. So when they bust into our room, me and my uncle should a room, they bring us, where they saw me, they couldn't arm me, but mm. they start beating my uncle children, using their shoe, mass, massaging their body, but they couldn't arm me. Mm. So from there, they be calling my uncle, that you should bring money, if you not bring money, you will kill us. So, but in me, I was praying in my mind. But after everything, they couldn't harm me. They couldn't touch me. That is how they left. Did you declare that you are a chosen? Because in all this experience, you, I never heard you said you declared you are a chosen. By that time, I was I have not put the word. This uh, I am a chosen. Okay. It's 2007. So, that is how God was choosing. Keep me alive. Restore my my life and everything. That is, I say, let me give this God glory. For Thank you, all Father. Let's clap unto life. God of choosing. Let's appreciate Him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. For this junction, I want to pray for my daddy G O. I pray that God, who that called him, will never let him down. Amen. I pray that God will uphold him. I pray that God will give him strength upon strength. That God will give him the grace to carry this ministry to the end. For our mommy in the Lord, I pray for her. That God will be with her. That God will give her the grace and strength to follow my pastor to complete this test. Ten below so madness. For our daddy children, I pray they will be like a father like a son. And I pray God will preserve all. In Jesus' name. Amen. For the choosing one, I love you people all. And I love my pastor. I love my church very much. Choosing is first class. Clap unto God of choosing. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Please don't forget our pastor's instruction. It works. It has worked. It's still working. Whenever you perceive danger, or whenever you are confronted with danger forget about the measure and the degree of the danger whatever face that danger may come with please always declare i am a choosing i am a choosing i am a choosing and ask that danger who are you and if that danger persists open your mouth and say with all confidence god of my pastor where are you we have had countless testimonies of choosing people that declared that declaration and God of choosing appeared and averted the danger. Even we have had testimonies of those that collected guns from armed robbers and even carried them to police station. So don't be afraid. Don't allow them to intimidate you with their weapon. Declare who you are. Three times ask the danger, who, who are you? You will see what is more than a man. Clap unto God of choosing. Appreciate him. You can teach your children. As a matter of fact, you should Teach your children, teach your family members. Let them declare they are choosing. It happens, it protects everybody. So teach your family members, teach your children, and God of choosing will confirm the declaration of our pastor in their lives. After this testifier, we'll take our first offering in fellowship. So prepare. Immediately after this testifier, we'll take our first offering in fellowship. The next testifier. If not be this God, where will I be if not be this God? Where will I be if not be this God? Where will I be? If not be this God, where will I be? Choose the praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Favor Ewelike. I joined this great ministry 2009. I came from Imo State. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here to testify what this great God of choosing has done for me. To push me from nothing to something. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
It was in a crusade, this crusade. God has sworn to bless us. So they were sharing their handbill. We have nothing. We now decide that we'll go to crusade. We have nothing, even money. And I have small baby at hand. It's only 40 naira that we have, both in home, in our blood, in everything we see children. We now took that 40 naira down to crusade in Imbudi. So when daddy said that we shall sow a seed, because I want to take that 40 naira and buy water for my baby. I now collected the 40 naira from my husband's pocket. He said, why do I collect them? I said, I want to sow a seed. He said, I should not sow the seed, yo. I carry the 14, all of them, put for the basket. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because that he was saying, when you go, don't stay idle, find something doing. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we went home, it happened that this God of chosen. And when I'm saying that 14, I said, God, I want you to give my husband a job. I will, as we went back, God of choosing, bless my husband, give me a job of 100,000 naira. Choosing, praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Every clap month, unto God of choosing. Every month, 100,000. 100, wow. Yes. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So, when we join this choosing, people are laughing at us, even our family members. They say, uh -huh. You don't enter choosing. I be say you don't enter wrong boss. We continue. We are not listening to them. Now, this very God has blessed us with five bedroom flat. I didn't hear you, please. Can you repeat what you said? I said, now this God of choosing has blessed us with five bedroom flats. Five bedroom flats. Wow. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Choose him, praise the Lord. As we are talking about this, he now give us another four bedroom flat. Choose him, praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God of choosing. And I could go more and more. I did just shout again. God of choosing bless us with seven plus of flying. Wow. Him, Let us appreciate this God of choosing. Clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Those people that are laughing at us is the people we are giving something now. Mm. Buying rice, training their children to school, giving them many things. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And many of them have followed us to choosing. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony goes. Let's clap to unto God of choosing, appreciating. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. My second testimony goes like this. I want to thank this God of choosing for what he's done for me. For he to brought me from death to life. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that uh, when I delivered the baby, I now saw nurses packing something out with bath. I don't know that I have bleeding. It was serious. Well, I saw them packing blood. When they put the, uh, the bucket and bath, they send it out. They are pushing the thing. I don't know. Small time. And I saw everywhere turning around. Turning around. I don't know that I'm going. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we went there. I don't know that I have died. This thing happened by 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And I wake by 6 in the evening. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we are in the line, moving. People are dying in this world every day. If you are living, just thank this God of choosing. In that place, we are more than one million. Mm. It was very long line. And that is telling us, stop with one. Stop this. You think that is lie. It is true. If you are putting on those things and die, you will see yourself in hell fire. Because it was two roads. Left and right. Small road and big road. Those people we are in trousers, painting, we want everything. They are turning that big road. And the other small road, nobody's entering there. Hmm. So when we was in that line, when it reached me, they would say that I should go out. 
I now go out. Other people are going. Healthy men flogging them, pushing them to that big line. They are crying. Mm. So this thing happened three times. The fourth one, that now appear. Say, my daughter, you have to go back. None of you will die before your time. Mm. That is how I worked. Mm. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Clap unto God or choosing, appreciate him. You mean after the angel appeared, our daddy appeared to you in that in that spiritual state. He said, none of you will die a day before your time. Yes. After that, you find yourself coming back to life. Yes. I, do, I now saw myself in the, in the hospital. Mm. And I now saw my children, my husband, even my sisters, even my mother, all of them are crying. Mm. Just in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This thing happened by 12 in the afternoon. And I wake by 6. Even the her bring mother to carry me to one chariot. Oh. But this God of choosing return my soul back. Choosing Thank you, Father. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My thought this morning goes like this. I want to thank this very God for what he did for me in last three months. It was my son where he stood in at uh, Olo Oporo Technical School. Some people that is from him will say, know where I'm calling now. Oporo Technical School in, Lo in Olo so it happened that they kidnapped this boy, 17 years old. They kidnapped this boy. We are looking for this boy. The the, the caretaker and called us said that he have not seen Chukwemeka since three days now. Whether he came back home, we said no because we are living at Potter Court. So we start buying this boy. We don't know that he kidnappers had kidnapped this boy when coming back from school. Mm. And now carry this boy into a very big desert. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, as they were beating this boy, even knife, everything, they're beating this boy. And this boy is saying, I am a chosen. My mother is a chosen. My father is a chosen. God of chosen. He's calling upon God of chosen. They did everything they want to do to this boy so that he will die. God of choosing we did not allow him to die. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They now say, since you refuse to die, we now pour you to ashes hmm. and take your ashes and do our medicine. So they now went out and bring fuel. It's more than two days. The boy did not die. God of chosen. It's not the boy. It's God of chosen. Hmm. Because God of chosen is moving with us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They now bring the fuel. Poor that boy. They want to put matches. That my son now say, because he has already been weak. He now saw them running, saying, Hey, choose him. And uh, choose him, police is coming, you know. Hmm. See them with their apron. There hmm. were three men. They now run. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God or choose him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And this man that we are six inside that desert, as they were running, because the boy said that he was, he was hearing inside when they're saying that uh, the police have chosen, they're coming, they're wearing apron, they were three. Mm. So all of them run. Is these people now came and carry that boy out from that place? They went to burn him to ashes. And took him to the hospital. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So our phone was ringing. Was ringing because we have found him. We did not see him. We are crying. Calling God, this God of choosing. Say, how can this age? I now lose a boy of 17 years. Mm. So as they, they now call us from hospital, our phone is ringing. That they bring one boy here. Uh, that his name is Shukwemeka. And the chosen people that bring him have left. Mm. That we should come and take our boy. Mm. Chosen, praise the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Clap unto this God of choosing. Appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. Mm. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, as they give us address. When we went to that Olo hospital, Heartland, people that are from this Olo, many of them are here, they are hearing what I'm saying. 
that hospital is heartland in Olo. So when we went to the hospital, they now asked us, ask me, are you the mother of Chukwemeka? I say yes. They say is that chosen people, three men, they bring him here. And we have treated him. They now left. They sit all the blood, all the wounds. The women this place, the wound, they come out their nose. And this hospital sits everything. They say that those people have left. So now you people are coming to bear your children. I know that is my pastor's angels. The angels that are working the with the ministry. Thank you, Father. Can I ask you, sister, when exactly did this thing happen? It happened three months ago. Three months ago. Yes, sir. Mm. So, at this junction, I now look at that, my son. He did not talk. After some hours, he started talking. He said, Mommy, you see this God of choosing? Mm. We will worship it forever and ever. Mm. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He now said, if not this God of choosing, you could lose your first son. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He now begin to tell me what happened. So, choosing people, I want to worship this God. Praise him for this great miracle. The boy is fine now, healthy, mm. and every time he was singing, Praise the God of choosing, say wonder working father. Praise God of choosing, say wonder working father. Praise the God of choosing, he say wonder working father. Praise the God of choosing, is a wonder working father. Praise the God of choosing, is a wonder working father. 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 God of choosing wonder walking father. They 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 God of power wonder walking father. They God of power wonder walking father. Thank you, Father. Clap unto God of choosing. I appreciate him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So, I want to thank this very God of choosing. It's a great God. Mm. For not allowing me to put to share. For not allowing those kidnappers to burn this boy to ashes. Mm. I say, only his name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my dad, G.O., he that God is using to deliver my family. God will grant him more strength and power in Jesus' name. Amen. All choosing worldwide. And my family, heaven at last. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Clap unto this God of choosing, the God of miracles, the God of signs and wonders, the God that can do what no man can do. Let's appreciate him by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Don't forget, tell these things to your children. Teach them how to declare they are choosings. Evil is everywhere. But thanks be to God of choosing, who has brought us under this ministry and has given us a covenant that he is, he is looking at and obeying the covenant and confirming it in our lives. Let us always declare who we are in the face of any danger whatsoever. You will see something that is more than man. Imagine six kidnappers saw the angels of God are choosing and they all ran away. That is something that is more than man. Clap unto God are choosing, appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God are choosing. Thank you, Lord. 